Hey guys, this is me Padma from Programmings and welcome back to this series on C programming. In our past videos, we will learn about function. Now we will learn to create a different type of function that call itself. These are called recursive function. It's going to be an interesting video, so let's get started. In computer programming, recursion is a process that allow us to create a function that call itself. Let me show you what does that mean. On your screen, you can see we have created a function named recurse and you can also see we are calling the recurse function from inside its body. Here the function is calling itself. This is called a recursive function. Let me tell you how this works. Initially, the recurse function is called from the main function. Now the control of the program goes inside the body of the recurse function. Inside the function body, we have included the function call to call the same recurse function. Now again, the program's control move back to the recurse. In this way, the function is called again and again. This might result in infinite function execution. To prevent this infinite recursive call, we need to provide an if else statement. Let me show you. You can see we have put the recursive call inside if else statement. Now the function call itself only under certain condition. This way we can prevent the infinite recursive call. By the way, if you are watching this, there is a good chance you want to improve your skills in C programming. Lucky for you, we have a mobile app that provides a well-structured C programming course with certification at the end. And you can use the app alongside the video to practice on the built-in compiler. Our course is free, so download now by scanning this QR code or click the link in the video description. Now that we know how recursion works, let's see an example. I'll create a program that computes the sum of n natural numbers. Instead of typing the program line by line, I'll just copy the program so that I can focus more on the actual working. In our previous video of function, we have already discussed about this function prototype. So if you want to know more on this, you can find the link in the video description as well. Here we have some function that takes in parameter n here n represents the number up to which we have to find the sum. For example, if n is 4, we have to find the sum of 4 numbers 1, 2, 3 and 4. Inside the sum function, we have an if else statement that checks if n is equals to 0. If false, the function makes a recursive call to itself. However, for each recursive call, we are decreasing the value of n. And finally, when the value of n becomes 0, the else condition returns n and the recursive call is stopped. Let's run this code and I'll enter 4. You can see we get the sum is equals to 10. Let's see how it works. So initially we provide 4 as input value which is stored inside the number variable. This value is passed to the sum function during the function call from the main function. Inside the sum function the value of n is now 4 so the condition is not equal to 0. So this condition becomes true and if statement is executed. Here the return statement inside if returns n which is 4 plus a recursive call to sum which with a new value 3 which is 4 minus 1. Now again the value of n is 3 which is not equals to 0. So this condition is true again. So the if statement is executed. Now if statement returns 3 and a function call with a new value 2. This process continues until the value of n becomes 0. When n becomes 0, the else statement is executed which returns 0. Finally, we have returned value 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 0. Hence we get 10 as output. Also, this image will help you visualize the working more clearly. Okay guys, we need your support to keep these types of content free for all users. YouTube really likes engagement on the video, so leave a comment below, press that like button, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get the engagement score high up so that more people can discover and enjoy these courses. Now to revise what we have learned in this video, here is the programming task for you. Create a program that computes the factorial of a number. Here, take an input number from the user. Create a function that takes the number as a parameter. Inside the function, check if the number is greater than 0. 
if true return number multiplied by a recursive call to the function with parameter 1 less than number else return 1. You can find the answer to this question in our github repository and also if you want to revise this concept all the program in this video are present in there. The link is in the video description below. Now that we have reached the end of this video, it's time for programming quiz. Which of the following statement is false? Comment your answer below. See you in the next video. Happy programming.